Hello All Saints Academy students and welcome to All Saints Academy supporting the Cheltenham Science Festival. Okay, so the theme for day three of the Science Festival, we're going to look at the Northern Lights and how all these wonderful colours are generated in our upper atmosphere. Um, have we got a store of experiments for you? So I'm going to try and generate the Northern Lights using some concentrated hydrochloric acid and some aluminium foil. So I'm just going to place the aluminium foil into the conical flask which is filled with concentrated hydrochloric acid and it's got some copper sulfate solutions in. If I give that a swirl, hopefully it will react fast enough. And I can start to see the aluminium changing colour. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do, I am going to switch the light off so that you can get a better image of what this looks like. If it generates enough hydrogen, hopefully this should work really well. So let's see if this works. Okay, and you can roughly see a wonderful glow being generated. As more and more of that hydrogen is being formed, we should get more of that wonderful gas being generated. I shouldn't cover the whole of that conical flask. Oops. Let's just see if we can get more of this again. Okay, and that was much better. Okay, so we've got another demonstration which Mr. Skew is going to show you and I am going to switch off the lights. Brilliant. All right then, so what I'm doing over here, it's got two basic chemicals. We've got strontium chloride in ethanol and we've got copper chloride in ethanol. Now the whole point of this is different stars have their colours based on what elements are inside. So what we could do, look at the light and actually identify if the star's got copper. So over here we've got copper, we've got a flame, so when we burn copper, it produces green. So if we've got a green star, we can actually see that, you know, copper's inside that star. Over here we've got strontium chloride, see what colour we make? is red. So if the red star is a high chance they've got strontium inside. So Mr. Walgy over here has got a something that you could do at home. But Just to explain. Something that's quite easy for you to do is to look at different densities of liquids. So what we've got in a plastic bottle, we've got some washing up liquid with a little bit of coloured dye and sitting on top we've got some olive oil or you can use vegetable oil. Okay you can make your own lava lamps. Okay it's dead easy and you don't make a mess at home. Okay, so it's really good for the parents as well. Okay, and when you get a light bulb, if you give that a bit of a shake, you can see the effect of what looks like a lava lamp. 